welcome to the Terry White Tech Blog. Today we're here to take a look at the brand new iHome IA5. Now, the IA5, like most iHome products, is a clock radio for your iPhone or your iPod. However, this is the first one that actually goes a little bit beyond just being a standard clock and stereo and iPod dock. This one actually has app integration built into it. So that means that if you head out with your iPhone or iPod Touch to the App Store and you download the iHome Plus Sleep app, which is a free download, that app, in combination with this device, work hand in hand together. Now, both will work without the other. So for example, the iHome IA5 works fine without the app, and the app will work with other speaker systems. But when you use them together, you get more features. So before we get to the app, let's take a little bit, look at the hardware a bit itself. So first of all, you do have a clock. And the last clock um, demo I did, I got lots of questions, constant questions about being able to dim the display. So before I go any further, yes, <laughs> you can dim the display. So without even using the iPhone or the app, I can dim the display just by hitting the button on top. Now, you have a bedtime and wake up button on the front that integrate with the app. You have your volume up and down. You have your charger and integrated dock on the back. And one of the things that's kind of important to me is auxiliary in. So you can use this with other devices. Like I like to use my um, bedroom alarm clock with my Airport Express with Air Tunes. So I can actually play music from my, um, from my uh, Mac right into that device. You also have your settings and controls, again, to do all of this from the device itself or from the app. So, again, the device will, the IA5 will stand alone by itself and be used as an alarm clock if that's what you want. Or, you can use it in conjunction with an iPhone or iPod Touch and their native free app. So, I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and dock my iPhone here. I have an iPhone 3GS plugged in. And we'll just go ahead and launch the IA5 or iHome Plus Sleep app. So it's called iHome Plus Sleep. We'll launch it. And the minute I launch it, it brought up a little symbol on the display to let me know, hey, you've connected the app. We're good to go now. And also it switched off the clock's display because it doesn't need to be redundant. If you're looking at the time on the app, you're looking at the time on the app. You don't need it in both places. So if we turn the phone off, then we get back to the time on the display. So already the two are talking together. It knows that you're plugged into that device and it gives you the controls. Now, what's kind of cool about this is that because you have an iPhone or an iPod Touch that can integrate with the internet, it can take advantage of internet services and social networking. So right off the bat, across the top, I know it's hard to see on the video, but it's showing me my current weather. Uh, both the temperature, it's raining outside, my high and my low. I can see later tonight and tomorrow morning. So I get those three based on my current location. So it's location aware. Of course, it's also giving me the current time and it knows about my device. So if I go ahead and tap the info button here, if I can get it to respond, there we go. It will then let me get into the settings, and I can actually go control all of those settings. So where I want my weather to come in, the accounts that I want it to integrate with, any reminders, the bedtime dimmer for the uh, iPhone itself or the device, um, the home background screen, and the hardware settings for the IA5 itself. So if I get to the hardware settings, I can actually set a device alarm so that even if the phone is not plugged in, the alarm will still go off. I can set um, the equalizer, bass and treble, uh, your sleep controls, your brightness controls, so I can dim the display from here as well. Um, and of course, auto display the clock. And one of the things I thought was most important and pretty cool is that I can sync the time from my iPhone to the time of the display. So I don't have to hit buttons to set the time. It will just with that little beep, will sync the time with whatever the current time is on my phone. It will set the clock. All right, so that's pretty cool that we have the integration to be able to control the device. But what makes this particular app and this particular combination kind of cool is that we have the ability to set up what are called cards, these, um, these sleep cards. <clears throat> so, for example, I want to add a new 
card. We'll just go ahead and hit the button. I want a new alarm card and we'll call this one test. So I can uh, set up as many of these as I need. So I've named this one test. Now it says what will be my alarm time? So I can now set the time. It's at 4.48 p.m. To right now. So we'll set it for, let's set it for 5 p.m. Uh, we'll give it a couple minutes here. And we're done. So now that's set for 5 p.m. Do I want it to repeat? Uh, the schedule of never, every day, every weekend, every weekday, custom, so forth and so on. So I'll say don't repeat it. And what do I want it to do? Do I want to snooze time? Do I want to vibrate? What do I want to sleep to? What music or whatever? And what do I want to wake to? Well, I want to wake to, I can use an alarm sound, my iPod, or no sound whatsoever. And I'd be kind of hard to wake up with no sound whatsoever. So I will choose a song for my iPod. Um, app and I can choose as many songs as I want and it's now added that song to the card and uh, I can have any reminder messages pop up when I go to sleep or wake up I can also do social networking so I can say when I go to bed tweet a message when I wake up tweet a message same thing for Facebook update my status when I go to sleep or wake up so once I'm all done there I'll just hit save and quit so now that app is, or that test that uh, time card is there. I just got a text message. We'll go ahead and get past that, and it says that it's going to do this in 11 minutes. So looks like I wasn't looking at the current time. So let's go ahead and update that. Uh, we'll change the time on this to be a little bit sooner. So we get to edit that card, and I thought it was 4:59. It's actually 4:49. So let's make it go off at 4:59. 51. Actually, that'll be good. So we'll hit done there. Save and set. Close this. And now we're back to the time and we'll just go ahead and even turn that display off. So we have in less than 60 seconds, our alarm should go off. It should start playing our music and it will gradually build the music up um, as the longer you let it um, play, obviously. So that's the integration with the free app and being able to set up multiple sleep cards and napping cards and having it update your status when you wake up and do social networking. So it's kind of cool to have an integrated app that's more intelligent than any off-the-shelf alarm clock that you would buy. Now the IA5 um, goes for right around $89 to $99 depending on where you buy it. You can find out more information about the actual pricing and specs at my blog terrywhite.com slash techblog. So, here comes our alarm, at right on schedule at 451. The music is gradually building up. I can hear it playing just a little bit in the background there. Now, if I want to turn it off, I can hit the snooze button on back, or I can actually just wake it up, hit the snooze button here, or slide to wake up. Once I slide to wake up, I then get the overnight news. So what it's doing now is it's going and checking my Facebook status or status messages from all my friends to let me know if I've what messages I missed while I was sleeping. All right, so that's it for this review of the IA5 and the Sleep or, or iHome Plus Sleep app, which is a free download for, from the App Store. Hope you enjoyed it. My name is Terry White, and again, thanks for watching.